Wizard of Legend comes to me by way of Hohan. Thank you so much for this. This is actually a very, very uh, fun and very quick, very quick paced uh, drop in, drop out, hack and slash. Well, not hack and slash, like a top down, uh, fast paced action roguelike. Uh, everything in the game is pretty much procedurally generated. There is some overarching progression, so it's like a little bit more of a roguelite in that regard. Uh, there is local co op. You have a split screen co op if you'd like. Uh, it plays a lot like actually Hyper Light Drifter, if you've ever played that. Uh, Hyper Light Drifter, in terms of the gameplay, uh, in terms of progression and whatnot, and just how your character, <clears throat> how uh, how the dungeoning system works, it plays a little bit like Binding of Isaac in that regard. Um, but the combat feels super good, like really, really good, and it's enough to kind of keep you coming back. And the combat being obviously the main focus of the game, uh, you can actually. Uh, go through and, and and really really flesh out to to match your play style. And I'll show you what I mean by that right here. So first off, uh, <laughs> ignore the horse head. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, so this first of all is kind of like your starting hub. This is where you can go and you could change your outfits. Uh, you could change your uh, uh, your skills and abilities. Uh, you could change your uh, your passive perks. And we'll go over all of that before we actually get into the action because the action part itself really comes in like five minute chunks. I, I've got like an hour in the game uh, and I'm pretty sure like an hour and a half and I'm pretty sure I've been like 20 runs because every single run it's like five or seven, five to seven minutes because it is just, you're just basically just cleaving through these dungeons and then getting your ass kicked like almost immediately and then you're going back to the beginning. There is again some, uh, uh, some progression that happens and you know, we'll go over that right here. So, uh, these are your different cards. Basically, you build a deck to kind of make up, to, to kind of determine how you want to, uh, to play. So, here I have a basic attack. I don't have any other attacks. It's basic attack. Uh, I have a couple of different dashes. I have this one that leaves, uh, every once in a while it'll leave, like a frost, uh, an extra decoy at the end of the dash, which is kind of nice. Every once in a while you kind of dash and then leave like a decoy. Uh, air burst is enhanced and it creates shockwaves that, uh, buffet, buffet foes in your path. Uh, and that's what, that's it. So, I've stuck with this one. And then over here we have the standard, uh, which a standard is not necessarily like a standard, like a default. It's actually standard as in like, this is your, uh, your, like your minor casted ability. And then you have like a kind of a heavy or a major casted ability. So that's pretty much how those things are actually divvied up. Uh, and I, in here I have, uh, in, I have in fire, wind and ice. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's just those ones. So here, uh, dragon arc, I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. You put that on. Fire someone in the mouth, right? Boom, yep, tell me a story. And then you come back, you go ahead and switch to this one. Standard fireball, bam, just like that, right? So you could you could tailor these things to how you want. Obviously, one is a little bit more spammy, right? Or the rapid fire uh, fireball one. That one's great for keeping like casters uh, at bay or uh, doing some uh, some good like pushing around of like multiple uh, multiple characters. The giant fireball has uh, an AOE, which is great. You know, it's, it's a pretty decent sized AOE. But it may not have the same flexibility as the fireballs because the, the many fireballs uh, ability uh, will actually allow you to re-aim while you're firing. So if you end up shooting in the wrong direction, you can kind of turn real quick and still have a few fireballs shoot off in that direction. Whereas the giant fireball will not allow you to do that. So you see, the, the, again, there's there's a lot of different ways you can tailor this stuff. Uh, Frost fan, I'll show you that. Oops. That's all it does, right? That's all I want to have actually too for that. And then I have Wind, Whirling Tornado, and I have Cyclone Boomerang. I've been trying out the Cyclone Boomerang. Uh, it seems to be all right. The, the, the neat thing about it is that whenever you shoot something, uh, you hit something with it, it pushes it forward, then it pulls it back. So it kind of pushes it around a little bit. Two, to, two hits with one. And also you can line things up and do a good amount of damage across the board like that. Now, a couple of abilities do have, uh, will actually do that as well like this. Like your Frost ability, it'll basically shove things all over the place. And those are really great because being able to control where your enemy is is such a key thing in this. Because again, the action is super fast, so being able to push them around to where you need them is great. Uh, there are some flaws with this though, in terms of like actual gameplay, that make it feel a little bit repetitive, unless there's more than one different type of enemy on the screen. I'll show you that when we actually get inside as well. Uh, over here with the signature, these are basically your heavy abilities, right? Your major abilities, rolling tornado. I'll go ahead and fire this off. That's all it does. Uh, I mean, it's it's powerful, of course. Much people get around you, you bust that out, you knock them around. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then Exploding Fireball, you've already seen Exploding Fireball, but we're gonna go with this one. This one is the Icicles Travel Further. Now, Enhanced means that is what it does when you have filled your, like, mana bar. If you look in the upper right corner, 
uh, upper left corner, sorry. Um, there's my health bar, 500, 500, right underneath that. That's essentially like your mana or your energy bar. Once you max that out, then you get to access the enhanced version of that ability. With the icicles, it'll actually, sh it'll move back and forth a lot more, and it's a much broader path that it covers. So if you have a ton of enemies and you fire the thing off, you're gonna wreck, it's like a mosh pit, it's beautiful. Uh, this one, actually I haven't seen what this one does when it, uh, maybe I have, I just forgot. Let's go, actually we could build up our energy real quick, I can show you it looks like. Basically let's beat these guys down, push them into a corner, get this thing built up. Oh, there I forgot you can get that. <laughs> so here we go. You get that real nice kind of slow motion, uh, did that that uh, dramatic, bam, look at that. I'm going to show you the other ones here. Now you're going to get tons of these things as you play. And you can unlock them. I mean, there's a little, there's a, a bunch of vendors right outside before you actually go to the dungeon. Uh, and you can unlock uh, them through that way. So I'm actually going with this set. This setup seems to be working pretty well for me. And by pretty well, I mean, instead of going for four minutes at a time, I could go for seven. Please don't take it out of context. There you go. Here's the heavy one. Look at that. It just does so much work. All right, so that's this. Uh, let's go ahead and actually take a look at now the uh, the relics. Relics are things that you collect as you go. I don't have a whole lot. <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot to unlock. Uh, it does have a, very much a kind of like, it feels like a Dead Cell style like gameplay, right? Where you just get in, you can run a quick dungeon or whatever, a quick, quick run and get out. Uh, and it still, it doesn't feel like you've not made progress because of, uh, because of the persistence in some of your progression. Uh, this one, Friendship Bracelet, increases damage and movement speed when you're with a true friend. I don't have any friends, so. <laughs> Defense here. This is, uh, this is my horse head. It says, uh, it says, you look quite dashing as you gallop to max speed with ease. So what that means is as you move around, let's go and take a look at my character here. As I move around, you'll see a kind of a boost of speed, like a little burst of speed. Bam, like that. All that is, is when I wear the horse head, it, it reaches that, uh, that speed boost faster. That's pretty much it. I don't believe it actually goes faster as you move around. It kind of looks the same, which by the way is a super nice feature because as you're, you have to do a lot of backtracking in the dungeons. And so you kind of want to be able to, uh, to not waste all of your time. And so here is where you go through and you could change your outfit if you'd like to. So I can go with the red. There you go. Uh, <laughs> that horse head is just too much. Uh, and then it's a lovely day for Nostalgia. Sure is. Yeah. Would you like to relive, relive your trip to the museum? Not now. That's basically the tutorial of the museum. That's a pretty good little setup for the game itself. Uh, so here we have, uh, very bottom of the screen, you see I have a bunch of gems, some diamonds, right? Some rupees. Uh, with those, I could turn around and buy stuff if I like to. So I could buy this, the Snowflake Chakram, uh, or I could buy Flame Strike Basic, or Ion Spike. Now, Ion Spike I've actually not seen. Let's go and grab that. Let's go over here, talk to this guy. It's the same guy from inside. Talk to him. Another fine day, lad. Okay, let's go and grab this. He says something like that, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> let's see here, Ion Spike. Ooh, let's see, what does that do? Ah. I wonder how much damage it does long term. And here you can buy a whole bunch of uh, relics. Now I'm not gonna buy any more because I kind of want to keep my money. <laughs> I've been spending money on like stupid crap. Just like any RPG, you can run around and walk, to, uh, talk to all those people in there. And now we get to we get to do our first run. We're probably gonna do like three runs. <clears throat> Let me check if it's like ten runs on this. And <laughs> this episode probably. Randomizing everything. Randomizing everything. Randomizing everything. Here we go. Now. Not only is the uh, the le dungeon layout change, uh, not only does that change, it also uh, the biome type changes. So you could be in a dungeon, you could be, uh, whoa. do something. There you go. Ooh, pretty good. You can see this guy's flight path as he as he uh, knocks a knocks an arrow. Right, that's a term, right? Knocks an arrow, something like that. Oh, oops, hold on. Let's do this. That's pretty. That's pretty good. I mean the delay, ooh, the delay hurts. But you get a couple you get a couple guys that are like stuck on a pedestal that are sniping you. But it's perfect. Oh here we go, vendors. Yes, you have uh, A-game vendors, uh in er, in dungeon vendors. You go around and grab some stuff if you need to. Some of them are temporary, uh some of them are cursed, where you know obviously you'll uh something will happen in exchange for something positive. The last match I got one that rezzed me, but it took like half my health before it did that. I was kinda sucked. Yeah, they're frozen. Shock them, man. Now here's here's the big flaw with combat. Probably more than half the enemies is if you get them pinned and you just start spamming your your main attack, they're they're done. And unless you have multiple different enemy types, let me see if I can get. What do I have here? Okay, oh, 
the arrow guys is gonna make this tough. Come on. The arrow guys make this really hard. But once you get these guys pinned, for the most part, they're kind of fucked. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, they they, they kind of can't really do anything. Uh, and again, that's that's like probably the only combat complaint I have is there's no, once you get them pinned, there's no real timing that they can kind of squeeze in and attack. I can't afford any of that crap. So we're just gonna leave. Now it's not like that with every enemy, obviously, but yeah, you know, like these guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and see if we gather all these dudes up. All right, look at that. We got how many now? A lot. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of that. Now we got them pinned. See? <laughs> Even these guys, actually. These guys are notoriously assholes. Whoops, that was wrong. I keep forgetting I don't have the, the weapons I had before. So here we go, just get them pinned like this. And that's it. So that's that's the biggest complaint I have about it now. It's completely RNG. The game could throw like three or four of the same enemy at you, or it could throw like a, like a huge mess of different dudes. And obviously that'll have a significant impact on how you, how the game, how the game, how that particular matchup uh, uh, plays out. So you give me one of your arcana to shuffle and, uh, oh, hey. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, Ion Spike gone. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. I've never seen this dude before. <sighs> I mean, some really mad. Flame Strike Basic, really? Wait, is that replacing my? <gasps> oh. Ah, oh, interesting. That replaces my basic attack. I, I I'm. Fairly curious if I keep that. I'm fairly. I'm sure I would actually, because just about everything you pick up card-wise, you end up keeping. Well, we'll find out. I mean, I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. Okay, that's the store. We don't need that. Pull up the map right here. By the way, this is actually a feature that doesn't. <laughs> it's not in every game with a mini map that I absolutely wish was. Uh, notice that I have the mini map up. The screen is kind of semi, you know, uh, semi opaque, and I'm able to run around. This is something that uh, I. I I first encountered playing Marathon, actually. You could pull up the map in Marathon, old FPS, right? And then you could run around, and it makes it super easy to navigate. Just, it's just like this, and it should be in every damn game with a mini-map. All right, let's go and do these guys here. Yeah, see, once you, once you get them going, once you, when you start juggling them, they're done. But then you get a mix of dudes, and it's a different story. Oh, boy. All right, let's do this. Get these guys aggroed. We can. Oof, that's gonna be tough. Oh wow, never mind. It's not gonna be tough. Might be the longest run yet. Now that I got this flame strike. Okay, so this is essentially the last encounter in this particular level. Uh, and what it's what the game is showing you here, these portals, it's saying, hey, do you want to go over here and buy some stuff before you get going or what? Yeah, that's basically all it is. Uh, Giant's Heart, uh, Arcana Rewards card, Infinity Marble, uh, King of Reserves. Now, it doesn't tell you what these things are. This is where like the Binding of Isaac style of, of gameplay comes in, where it's like, you can, you can just go and you can pick up like a random thing. Uh, okay, we're not going to switch that. And this is the store over here, uh, which I could pick up this uh, Rippling Rupture. That's my enhanced, huh? Let's get it. Okay, it doesn't equip it right now yet. Oh yeah, it does. Ooh, sexy. I mean, there's there's like tons of abilities, and that's what makes this game so awesome. Is that even if you don't like like some of the basic gameplay, like like Hyper Light Drifter, the action was great, right? The combat felt good, but really you were kind of limited to like slashing, uh, hack and slashing, dodging, and shooting. Right now, those things can be upgraded over time, but it's not like this. We have a deck you can swap out and you do all kinds of crazy stuff. This has more of a magic feel to it with the way that works. All right, let's see. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, so many arrows. Let's see if I can charge up my. Oh, God. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, gosh. Oh, right between them. That's awesome. 
Uh, I'm not sure if I can step on my own, actually. I was kind of worried I'm going to step on my own blinds. There, stun, stun, stun. Work, 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 work. Damn. Should have. I got greedy. I got greedy. Six minutes, 31 seconds. Man, it must be a record. All right, so gems collected zero. That's the most painful part because the gems are the thing that actually carry over uh, on top of your regular abilities, which now I... Oh, don't tell me that was temporary. God, maybe it was. Oh, and I liked it so much. <laughs> I bet, you know what? I bet I had to actually finish uh, at least one one level in order to actually unlock that. So that's unfortunate. Let's go and swap this stand. I don't like this at all. Uh, we'll go with something else. Uh, like this one's pretty good. And with the signature, let's go and go with the, the exploding fireball. Dash, uh, we'll go ahead and keep that. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go on straight. Straight fire. Bam, bam, bam. Cool, let's do this. Let's go, let's go. Uh, let's see, I have 11 gems. I, I can afford this thing. What is this? The uh, Fueled Berserk. Ooh. You can now equip this Arcana. This game has so much replayability, it's pretty disgusting. <laughs> it really is, like, such... Oh, God, I wish I could replace a stupid basic spell. Um, yeah, there's just so much... Oh, the, the exclamation mark, of course. Uh, let's see. Explodes when activated to burn foes in the area. Burning rage that speeds up basic arcana. One, two, three. I'm smashing the button, by the way. And now if I activate this... Oh, you just go ham. That might be pretty good. Let's try that. And again, this is what makes this game so great and why everybody's all over it is because you could tailor it to whatever, whatever, however you feel. It also makes it easy to blame your deck whenever you mess up, which is every time for me. Oh man, I must have the wrong deck. <laughs> I must not have the OP deck. That's what it is. Smash everything, by the way. Let's go activate that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that 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 CC that uh, I get with Frost. With Frost, I can keep these guys going back and forth, balling them with my Frost Wall ability. Damn, that guy, that guy's serious. Ah, gotta get just out of the way here. See, that's what I mean. Combinations of enemies, they'll get you, right? Lots of the same enemies, not so much. And look at it, it just charges that up so quickly. Okay, here we go. This guy says, uh, armor of greed. Basically, this is the cursed items, right? Uh, heavenly boots, armor of greed, uh, Paranomascon. <laughs> no idea what it did yet. Did nothing kind of, nothing really jumped out at me here. So we'll see. Yeah, wow, that's invaluable, that. Oh. Some of those things are all gonna kind of jump, jet around. Nope, they disappear. Good. Okay, then there. Keep on that mini-map. Oh, hold on a second. That just goes to the, uh, okay. I look at the arrow of the mini-map over there. It says I am 35% of the way clear, looks like, right? Yeah. guy down and then we'll just wait for him to do whatever he's gonna do now we can knock him into the pit if we want to but i'd rather get the credit and the uh, arcana build up i called it mana earlier i actually couldn't remember what the hell it was called so yeah i believe it is arcana here we go some guy's gonna show up so we just knock the guy in oh. knock back once again proving to be invaluable took a lot of damage there Slimes. Slimes. Get these guys down. This guy just knocked himself into the... Oh, boy. Ah, the jumping dude. Let's get him land over here. Oh, jeez. It's not what I wanted. Yeah, he won't He won't stop at anything. You're not going to be able to basically stun this guy and, and, uh, and, wail, and just wail on him until he's dead, like the other guys. He will just continue stomping. Come on, come on. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you don't want to get caught in that guy's ice bullshittery. 
Got a gem. Hey, we got a gem. We got one. <laughs> Come on, Dory. Okay, here we go. Ah, boy. Uh, let's see. Wind slash basic enhance, it says. Really? Wind flurry. Ice spear. That sounds interesting. I can't afford any of that stuff anyways. What the hell am I doing? This is going to be another short run. <laughs> I can already tell. Here's the thing. Uh, as you... Oh, jeez. As you start to get your decks built up, as you start to get uh, more accustomed to the gameplay, God. you're going to start lasting a little bit longer, right? So many jokes. You're going to start lasting longer. Uh, you're going to start getting more uh, more carryover with gems. Obviously, RNG is going to play a big part of it, right? So I just died. But I got two gems out of the deal, right? <laughs> Five minutes in, four minutes, whatever it was. Let's just keep going, damn it. I'm going to make it work. My horse head. All this stuff I can't afford. I'm out of here. And so as you get better, as the... Because right now, obviously, I'm, I, I'm sucking, right? I'm also being a little... I am kind of just like charging in. I'm not really playing as careful as I probably should be. <laughs> like running right up to the exploding uh, barrel. Sure. Get these guys down first. Those guys. Once these guys get you at a distance, it's very hard to mess with them. There we go. This guy down. Let's see if I could not die immediately. Oh shit. Should have known this would be another batch. Big ass fireballs. Completely wasted. Come on, get over there, get over there, get with your friend, get your friend, get your friend. There you go. Get with your friend. And then just beat him down. Oh, jeez. Get these guys all together here. Okay, this guy's not gonna happen. Well, Jesus. Dance around a little bit. And then again, once you get them, once you get them together, that's it. Got a gem out of that. Two gems so far this run. What do we have here? Ooh, what is, oh, this guy, uh, yeah, just a tiny man. Just acquires some high quality threads. Yeah, you could. I think 100 gold, right? Yeah, so I don't have enough. Not today. Plus, uh, I won't keep it if I leave, unless I unless I beat the uh, the boss here. And I've only done that like a, maybe once. <laughs> maybe once. <laughs> I need I need to really start being more careful. I'm being too damn aggressive, man. Woo, man. That boost, that like speed boost, burst, whatever is great. Okay, now like actually, this is this is also kind of a flaw in gameplay, right? I <laughs> just wait for it to charge up, hop right on over. Damn, done. I mean, yeah, it's just the game should give you some freebies every once in a while. Hey, let's go right to the boss. Let's do it. Oh man! Oh god! These oh, two, these guys. Oh, oh god! It's just a grip of these dudes. Oh, jeez, what was that delay? Ah! Get him stunned, get him stunned, get him stunned, get him stunned! Let's go ahead. Oh, God, he's gonna fire! Oh, man. He broke up my attack before I could get it. Get that stun down, get that stun down. Got it! Yeah! Look at that. Gems, baby. Gems. Yeah, 14 gems. So pretty good. And you can, of course, go and uh, and uh, do whatever you need to do before you leave. Now, I, I can continue exploring. I'm only 60 more percent of the map clear. See on the left-hand side there? Uh, so I could go through and continue to clear uh, in order to get maybe some, hopefully some health or maybe find more shops or something. But for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and do this. The, the, my fitting process has caused a bit of discomfort. You see interesting? Yeah, sure. Shiny. Oh, oh my God. It's going to kill me. Look at that. One health. One health. Oh, maybe shiny. I actually have no idea what that. I, the last time he gave me a different color, <laughs> that was it. So let's see. Let's go to the next, the next map with not, no health. Oh, RNG. This is 100% uh, a game that you can play with both keyboard and mouse. 
uh, effectively or a controller. It plays super well both ways. I would say with KBM, you're probably gonna get a little, obviously a little bit more precision out of the deal. One more shot and I'm dead. You gotta be kidding me. This is silly. Ooh, man. Uh, but this is totally the kind of game that I feel more comfortable playing uh, with controller. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> hey, that was the best run yet, man. <laughs> All right. Ah, okay. Did I get anything with one of those stupid threads? I don't think so. I don't even know what they did. It just took all my health. Uh, I'm willing to bet it's probably an RNG thing, right? In some cases, it will give you something. It'll give you a positive benefit. Uh, in others, it will not. Uh, so in that run, I got, was it 12? I think I had two gems going into that. So I got 12 gems out of that run. So I'm pretty good. Pretty good deal. I don't think I got any relics or anything. Everything's pretty much the same. One, one, two. Yep. Actually, I didn't show you guys the miscellaneous relics. Uh, this one you start with, museum ticket, ticket to Lenovo's museum, newly opened chaos trials exhibit. Yay. Uh, and then this one, someone's a sprite that freezes enemies. Only one sprite can be held at a time. Super handy to occasionally freeze an enemy, right? Uh, and then over here, I didn't get anything new over here. I don't think I really got to retain anything yet. There's no exclamation marks anywhere. So there you go. These are all, all arcana. Let's go through a look at like this. You can see a water, no chaos, uh, a bunch of air and some fire. So... Still a lot more unlocks to go through, uh, but still, this is like a really solid game, like completely and totally worth it. It's also $15.99. Like, that's a good price, man, like for for the amount of time that you could put into this. And here's the thing, like at this point now, I'm probably reaching two hours of gameplay time uh, and I feel like I got and let's assume that I paid for it. Right. Thank you, Hoan, again for gifting it to me. Let's assume that I paid $15.99 for it. I feel like in the first hour, I got my $15 worth because there was that much stuff packed into such a short period of time. That many runs that I went through, that many things that I unlocked. I felt like in within within that one hour's worth of time, uh, I got so much done. I didn't feel like I was dragging my feet. Oh, I'm going to do it. Okay, wow, finally an hour and I got one card. No, no, the game was just throwing them at you because there's like 400 of them. So, of course, it's going to be throwing you all kinds of random stuff. And then, of course, every time you're able to go through and every, every match you go through and you kind of tailor it a little bit, it feels like you're going in fresh with a different combination of things. And while you're in the match itself and you find somebody that has a card or something that you could pick up and you can swap to it uh, in the middle of a dungeon. And again, it refreshes the gameplay. So this is this is 100 percent a game, which is like infinite replayability. You're probably going to see people doing like 400 videos on the thing. I'm looking at you, Northern Lion. <laughs> uh, it is that kind of game. And uh, it's not just because, you know, it's not because like people like Northern Lion or others are forcing it, you know, feeling like they have to continue, like, you know, playing the game to progress. It's because it feels good because the gameplay continues to refresh itself and it feels good to continue playing it. So that's it. The game is called Wizard of Legend, currently available on Steam for $14, $15.99. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. This is Any for Breakfast. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see ya.